ATX follows IRS standards for e-filing tax returns. As part of that, ATX uses the Modernized E-File System, or the MEF system. Since MEF is a web-based system that allows electronic filing of individual and business returns through the Internet, it uses the widely accepted Extensible Markup Language, or XML, format. This is an industry standard that is used when identifying, storing, and transmitting data. The XML format ensures the electronic return data transmitted to the IRS meets all required specifications and allows the system to process and view the electronic return data. Because the returns are XML based, ATX can stop most problems during check return before you send the e-file. Another part of the modernized e-file system is the use of submission IDs. When you create an e-file for an MEF return, the software assigns a submission ID that uniquely identifies the return, as required by the IRS. The submission ID number is 20 characters long and can contain both letters and numbers. Each submission ID is globally unique within the IRS system, which means that submission IDs change with each e-file. The IRS specifies the format, as shown in the on-screen excerpt from IRS Publication 4164, Modernized E-File Guide for Software Developers and Transmitters. ATX follows this format. Here is an example using the following number, 995-022-2014-219-B000001. The first six digits are always your EFIN. On the screen, these are 995022. The next four digits are always the submission year. The example on the screen shows this is 2014. Remember, this is the year in which you process the return, not the year of the return. The next three digits, 219, are the Julian date. The last digits are alphanumeric unique control numbers generated by your software. This number is assigned every time you create the e-file for the return and is designed to prevent duplicate numbers. Before you start e-filing returns, make sure you enter your EFIN and other information in the Preparer ERO Manager. To add ERO information from the Return Manager, click Preparer ERO. Click e-file. Click Add New and add the information for the ERO. After you enter the preparer and ERO information, use preferences to default a preparer or ERO on the returns. To set the default preparer and ERO information, click Preferences, click Preparer Manager. Use the drop-down list to select a preparer and an ERO to enter on all new returns. Click Apply to save the changes. Before you start e-filing state returns, you should also understand the difference in linked and unlinked state returns. If the state return is linked, the IRS does not make the state return available to the state until the federal return is accepted. If the federal return is not accepted, the IRS rejects the state return. If the state return is unlinked, the IRS makes the state return available at the time you submit it, without checking for a federal acceptance. In the past, the IRS may have rejected linked states, even if you submit both the federal and state at the same time. To prevent this, ATX added a default setting to eFile Manager that holds state returns until the federal return is accepted. When the federal return is accepted, ATX creates the state eFile. At that time, you will need to transmit the created state returns. To perform an error check, click Check Return. Clear the filter boxes to manage types of information shown in the list. To remove items from the error list, clear the check boxes. Click Hide Marked to remove selected items. Click Print to print an error report. Click the link for an item to locate it in the return and make the correction. Click Recheck to identify any remaining errors. If any errors remain, correct them before finishing the return. After you complete the return and check for errors, 
create the e-file. To do this, click e-file. ATX displays the create e-file dialog box. Select the checkbox for the returns you want to create and click create. After you create the e-file, you need to transmit it. To do that, go to e-file manager and select the checkbox for the file you want to send and click transmit. ATX displays the transmit marked e-file dialog box. Select the checkbox for the returns that you want to transmit and click Transmit Marked E-Files. ATX transmits the return and gives you the status as it does so. When the transmission is complete, click Close. After you transmit the e-file, you should make it a best practice to receive acknowledgments periodically until you get an acceptance for the return. If you don't periodically receive acknowledgments, you may miss an important acknowledgement that requires a swift response, such as a reject. For information on any known delays for acknowledgements, check the ATX blog.